SSP TV Sports on News 13 with Fred Barletta Jr. and Ron Marchetti. Well, to be honest, we were hoping we were going to be uh, telling you a little bit about the Cougars in baseball and softball and the playoff runs, but uh, didn't work out this year. And as the PIAA state tournaments begin, no Hazel Tenaria team there. But a lot of action, and there are a lot of people that want to follow what's going on. We're always happy to let you know exactly how it lines up. Here's what we've got. This is the uh, Quad A first round of boys baseball, and it's going on today. You got the District 1 champ Central Buck South taking on Central Dolphin. The District 12 champ LaSalle taking on Upper Dublin. And there's Wyoming Valley West. They're the District 2 champs. They drew the uh, number two team out of District 3. That would be Penn Manor. And you got uh, Nazareth taking on Hatboro Horsham. That's uh, the top half of the bracket. Now the upper half of the bracket in AAA baseball, Lampeter Strasburg and Philadelphia Electric. Bet you that team has a lot of juice to it. Anyhow, Jersey Shore, North Pocono. North Pocono out of northeastern Pennsylvania. Newman Garetti, they're taking on Twin Valley in Phoenixville and Blue Mountain. Now, I should point out that in both the uh, AAA and Quad A, there are some eastern teams in the lower half of the bracket. We'll be giving them to you as the week goes on. Let's go down to Double A. Brandywine Heights, they're taking on uh, Nueva Esperanza and uh, Holy Redeemer. South Williamsport, Holy Redeemer, of course, out of District 2, Loyal Sock Township, Phillipsburg, Osceola, Springfield Township, and Pine Grove. Now, out in the other half of the bracket, it's all Western teams, and we'll be getting you caught up to date a little bit later on this week as well. Single A baseball, Lancaster County Christian and Lackawanna Trail, Calvary Christian and uh, GAMP, and Montgomery takes on Pius X, and Conemaugh Township takes on Camp Hill. That's the way it's lining up single A baseball today. Now, let's stop uh, throwing it overhand and let's start firing it windmill style. Here's what we've got for the girls. North Penn, Lower Dolphin, Williamsport, the team that knocked out the Cougars. They're taking on Pensbury today. St. Hubert's at Dallas Town, Liberty at Central Bucks South. And again, there will be a couple of teams from the east in the other half of the bracket. And as it starts whittling down, We'll be telling you all about them. Let's slide down now to the AAA brackets. Up top, it looks like this. Sun Valley, Greencastle, Valley View and Milton, Conwell Egan against Pottsville, Mannheim Central against Springfield Delco. Sliding over to the AA level, we've got it looking like this. Kutztown and Chestnut Ridge, Pine Grove and Nanny Coke. Christopher Dock, well, uh, we're waiting to see who they're going to be playing yet. It's the one spot still open. Warrior Run against Anvil Cleona. And finally, single A softball, it's going to match up like this. Northeast Bradford and Claysburg. Northwest against Greenwood. Minersville, Southern Columbia. GAMP against Bristol. And we've got some Eastern teams in the other half of the bracket. And we will be giving them to you, as we said, with all the other ones as the week goes on. Now, minor league baseball over the weekend. Columbus Rochester rained out. They're going to play a double dip today, a makeup game and the regular season game. So we'll see if Russ Kanzler can get up his slide today. Two games. Meanwhile, Kyle Landis, he had himself a pretty nice night. Pitched two innings, didn't allow a hit, struck out two. The ERA, very easy to remember. Room 222. Meanwhile, Norfolk beats up on Scranton Wilkes-Barre and Pawtucket sneaks by Lehigh Valley. There is your schedule. We told you about the double dip with Rochester and Columbus. Akron and Binghamton going to play a uh, game today. That's a makeup game. Scranton Wilkes-Barre is at Norfolk and Pawtucket at Lehigh Valley. And tonight we're brought to you by our friends at Stripes and Strikes. Make the right call and get down to Stripes and Strikes. The baseball season is here. Now we're talking baseball pants, jerseys, hats, gloves, bats, batting gloves, bags, Catcher's equipment, We've got league discounts available. All the top name brands, Wilson, Rawlings, DeMarini, and Diamond. Check it out at Stripes and Strikes, your headquarters for softball and baseball. Look for the big green awning down across from Janetti's Best Western on Route 309 in Hazleton. Today is the Queen's birthday in New Zealand and it's also Trivia Treats Monday. Hi everybody, on his first Monday and fourth day in June and it was on this very day. 25 years ago in 1987, that Edwin Moses' 122 race winning streak came to an end when fellow American Danny Harris beat him 
in the 400 meter hurdles at an international meet in Madrid, Spain. The 122 race winning streak is still the longest for a track event. On that very same day in 1987, the Chicago Cubs clobbered the Houston Astros in a baseball game 22 to seven at Wrigley Field in Chicago in a game that featured a major league record tying three grand slams. 10 years ago yesterday in 2002, the Los Angeles Lakers captured game seven of the Western Conference Finals in overtime over the Kings in Sacramento. Shaquille O'Neal led the way with 35 points and 13 rebounds. In the finals, the Lakers swept the New Jersey Nets four straight for their third consecutive NBA title. 20 years ago tomorrow in 1992, tennis star Bonnie Casellas claimed the French Open title defeating tennis great Steffi Graf. At that time, Graf had 11 grand slams under her belt and this win for Sellers, who was 18 in 92, was Grand Slam victory number six. Now let's go out of here tonight with a light story that happened on this very day 30 years ago during the College World Series in 1982. The University of Miami's baseball team resorted to a bit of trickery to defeat Wichita State during the College World Series in Omaha. Wichita State came into this contest with an NCAA record, 333 stolen bases, 87 of them by Phil Stevenson, who was a speed merchant, base-stealing sensation. During the game, after a single by Stevenson, the record base-stealer nationally was looking to steal second. With a huge lead off first base, the Hurricane pitcher threw to first, and Stevenson dove back safely as the first baseman leaped in the air. Even the first base coach, who wasn't paying enough attention, ducked. It looked like a wild throw over the first baseman's glove. The second baseman and right fielder ran into foul territory to chase down the ball. The runner took off for second, but to his surprise, he was an easy out because the pitcher never actually threw the ball to first, but he had it to throw to the shortstop who was standing on second waiting for the runner to tag for an easy put out. And as Stevenson brushed himself off while he was running to the dugout, he looked over at his first base coach and screamed, Mother of God! It was Wichita State's first loss in the double elimination on, on the tournament of the two schools met again five days Later, in the final, Miami won again 9-3 to take the title. Till Friday, be a good sport. And, of course, stay loose.